In the last few minutes, I just want to show you a quick example of a successful version of fixing birth defects. So here's a normal tadpole brain. So here's the forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain. You can see it has very specific structure. All sorts of teratogens, for example, nicotine, alcohol, um, all kinds of things, will disrupt this normal structure. So here's, here's a severe birth defect. What we try to do is to make a computational model of this process and be able to ask, what channels do we need to open and close to get back to the correct state? And I'm going to show you here just one example, which I think is the most, the most difficult and and I think most profound example. Here is a normal tadpole brain. This is a brain of a tadpole bearing a dominant notch mutation. Notch is a really critical neurogenesis gene and the, when, when notch is mutated, you can see there is no forebrain. The hindbrain and midbrain are a bubble uh, of water. They just lay there. They have no behavior, profoundly uh, disabled uh, animals. We asked the model, okay, we can see how the bioelectrics uh, that dictate brain shape and structure change uh, after this mutation. How do we get back to the correct, uh, the correct pattern? And the model predicted this one particular channel called HCN2, that if we were to open it, it has this really interesting property of, of sharpening electrical gradients. The model said that that should get us back to normal. And so we did that e either by introducing new HCN2 or using human approved HCN2 Openers. They happen to be anti-epileptic drugs in use in human patients. About ha half the animals had a perfectly normal brain. They had a normal brain structure, they had normal brain uh, gene expression, and they had learning rates indistinguishable from controls. In other words, they got their IQs back even though they're, they're bearing this really nasty notch mutation. So at least in some cases, and I'm not claiming all cases, but at least in some cases, hardware defects can be ameliorated in software. Transient manipulations of the electrophysiology can overcome what are otherwise really debilitating uh, genetic diseases. And again, it'll be, it remains to be seen how, how, how broadly this works, but we now have um, a roadmap for, for achieving this using a computational model to tell you exactly which, which drugs to use. And so this is, this is the kind of system that we're building and you can play with, a, with an early version here where you would start with data on the incorrect, let's say a, a, you know, a, a tumor state or something and the correct pattern you would like it to have. And the system would actually figure out which channels or pumps need to be targeted that tells you exactly which drugs and something like 20% of all drugs are ion channel drugs so that there is an incredibly large uh, toolkit of electroceuticals out there which is waiting to be repurposed for these goals and it will suggest which ones to use so this is a, a very bare bones uh, system lots more needs to be added but but you can already see um, what's 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 happening here